Well, it is. Uh, these three people were trained in Britain. They did their key work in Britain. But sadly, they are, in all cases, working in the US now, which is rather a pity. So um, the Home Secretary today, Amber Rudd, at conference said that um, what she was going to do was move to limit the number of overseas students, but always be able to bring in the best international talent. Um, in terms of the scientific world, what's your reaction to that? Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, let's recall that these three people went to the US in the early 1980s. And that was a Thatcher period when science was doing very badly and many people defected at that time. I think that in the last 20 years, UK science has greatly strengthened, and that's partly incidentally because it's become more international and far more involved with mainland Europe. And uh, it would be very sad if this was jeopardised, of course, by uh, limiting immigration and of, by the difficulty of com collaborating with Europeans. Uh, so let's hope that doesn't happen. I thought Amber Rudd's speech was uh, uh, really deplorable because that would certainly lead to uh, uh, difficulties. And the perception is often worse than reality. That's a problem. People feel they're not welcome and they won't apply to come and they won't take jobs here. We have really gained tremendously in that if we think of other Nobel Prize winners in recent years, they have come to this country. The president of the Royal Society, Venki Ramakrishnan, uh, is an Indian who came from the United States. And we had uh, two Russians who came to Manchester uh, via Holland. And they got a Nobel Prize for discovering graphene. And we benefit from that sort of thing. And it will be very sad if the uh, mentality changes so that these people feel discouraged. Yeah. But surely, in a way, if there is even a limiting because of the fact that we're leaving the EU, it will encourage scientists to make, perhaps reach out and make more global collaborations. It perhaps will encourage more creative thinking about the kind of partnerships you want to pursue. Um, well, it's entirely global already. We benefit from the EU, but we certainly benefit from the world. Uh, in my small department at Cambridge University, the last five appointments we made were three from the EU, one from America and one from India. And that's typical of the university. We're very global. Mm. And the po point is it's very important to remain that way, I think. Tell me, do you think we are doing the right things now to breed the next generation of Nobel Prize winners in the United Kingdom or not? Well, I think in the last 10 or 20 years, the gradient was positive. But the worry is that that could all be lost by the uh, perception of what's happening now. Because two things happen. First, outstanding foreigners won't want to come mm -hmm. and work here. People who are working here will feel they do better abroad. And of course, young people will feel that science is not a career where they can do the best work in this country. They won't go into science. So it's all very uh, sensitive to the perception and whether morale is high or low. And the risk is we lose the rather high morale we've had in the last 10 years. Lord Rees, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you very much.